the DMR. You play like that. Yes, we finally got a diamond SMG. Thank goodness. Oh, I feel so good to have that boy. Yo, what's up? What's happening, guys? Back on Black Ops Call of Duty Cold War, as per usual. So as you saw, we finally finished our SMGs. We finally have them diamond. Oh, man. It feels so good to have those done. So happy. We just need one more class. And then we have Dark Matter. So we've already got two of the ARs down. We have the XM4 and the AK-47 done. So we just need the Krieg, the QBZ, and the FFAR. Which I think should go pretty smooth. The the QBZ might be a little bit harder because it's kind of underpowered. So far, I think we've got pretty much everything done that we need to. We got everything leveled up to at least level 40. That way we can get things done quicker. So while we're working on all the camos up until level 40, we'll level up to level 50 and finish the double kills. So the game's been out for about a month now. And most of the bugs that were in the game have sort of started to become more apparent. But at the same time, they're fixing them as they become more apparent. Hopefully, they send a patch out soon for the DMR because, like I said earlier, it's completely plaguing the game right now. I'm probably finally going to be getting back into Warzone, which is nice. I haven't played Warzone since, I think, the last season. And then Cold War came out and I stopped playing Warzone for a little bit. Because I was going to wait for the integration and see what they did with it. I thought they were going to bring out a new map, but they didn't bring out a new map, which was kind of sad but i kind of understand that the, the devs and everybody who are working on the game currently have a lot on their plate between zombies the multiplayer and warzone it's a lot to handle not to mention that i'm pretty sure the treyarch devs are working with two different engines now this engine and then the warzone engine i don't know if infinity ward is working on warzone or if it's treyarch that's working on warzone I would assume that it's Treyarch working on Warzone, seeing as they're the ones who need to balance their weapon. But as far as I know, they might be working independently. So COD 2021 got like leaked or something. We know who the developer is for the new COD coming out in 2021, which is kind of sad because we just got this COD out and they're already moving forward onto the next one. It feels like the cycles are getting quicker and quicker each year. But the COD 2021 developers are Sledgehammer, which is kind of funny because Sledgehammer was supposed to make this game, but they didn't. They dropped halfway through. But it's funny because they were supposed to make this game, but then seven months before release, they handed it over to Treyarch and Treyarch had to basically just redo this game. It didn't make very much sense, but I guess Sledgehammer is making the new game. So there's speculation going around about what the new Call of Duty is going to be. Is it going to be Advanced Warfare 2? Is it going to be Modern Warfare 2? Not Modern Warfare 2 as in MW2, but Modern Warfare 2 as in Modern Warfare 2019. Honestly, I thought that next year they were going to remaster like Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2 because that's basically what the community has been asking for. They want a, an old COD to be remastered. Personally, I think I'd like to see Black Ops 2 be remastered. I highly doubt that they're ever going to remaster Black Ops 2, but we'll see. It seems like the cycle's kind of reset, so now we're starting again with Cold War. And Cold War is like Black Ops 1, basically. So we're restarting the cycle of uh, Call of Duty. Other than the fact that Sledgehammer is making the next COD, I haven't heard very much news on what's going on. And I kind of don't want to either because I still want to play this game. I mean, the game just came out and because of skill-based matchmaking, people really aren't giving it a chance. This Call of Duty is the more natural Call of Duty, like the arcadey shooter kind of Call of Duty. But Modern Warfare 19 was more a realistic shooter. I think that's most of the reason why people don't really get attached to this one as much is because for a lot of people, Modern Warfare 2019 was their first COD. And for those of you who did have that as your first COD, I'm so sorry because you missed out on an incredible multiplayer experience. In my personal opinion, Modern Warfare 2019 was the worst Call of Duty experience you could possibly have. Now, Call of Duty Warzone. That was actually pretty good. I think Call of Duty Warzone did things that Blackout just couldn't. For those of you who don't know what Blackout was, Blackout was Call of Duty Black Ops 4's Battle Royale mode. 
Oh, but Blackout was Call of Duty Black Ops 4's Battle Royale mode. And it wasn't bad by any means. It was just not exactly what everybody expected. There were some good things about Black Ops 4's Battle Royale mode, like Alcatraz and Rebirth Island. For those of you who play Warzone now, I know it as Rebirth Island. That was actually a map from Black Ops 4 called Alcatraz. And it was actually really good. It was infinite respawns and stuff. The way that the game worked in that sense was really good. But everything else, not so good. The way that the movement system was just didn't fit with the way that it should have played. The way that Black Ops 4 did their movement system, it just didn't fit with the battle royale it was kind of in this weird in-between spot where they wanted like quicker movement maybe more vertical movement but at the same time they needed slower boots on ground kind of movement so it was in this weird spot where it wasn't quite bouncy enough and then at the same time it wasn't slow enough so it was just weird but now modern warfare's warzone has put a stand on where it wants to be so it's obviously boots on ground. It's not going to be quick movement like Apex Legends or something like that. Man, if I run into the DMR one more time playing this game, I swear I'm going to throw my mouse. Oh yeah, you might notice that I'm also using my mouse and keyboard now instead of my controller because my mouse started working again. I was so happy. I was so tired of playing on controller. Don't get me wrong. There's some good controller players out there. If you guys watch Phage Jeb, Phage Jeb plays on controller. He's incredibly good at controller me personally not so good on controller i'm too inconsistent on controller i wish i was better on controller because i've seen some crazy controller plays but i'm not bro i'm not cheating i'm just cracked you guys can call me justin because i'm cracked at fortnite my guy the krieg has probably been my favorite ar to use in the game so far the ak-47 was pretty good too but the krieg just has such good recoil control such good damage the bullet velocity on it is incredible i think the krieg is probably the most solid ar out of all of them most of you are probably disgusted at watching me use the krieg with iron sights you literally can't see through them at all but i don't do too bad oh. Watch your bullets. I don't do too bad with the iron sights on the creek. Most of the iron sights in this game are actually very, very good. How did I know he was camping there? How did I know I was going to camp? Why does it take so long to vault? What? Most of our camos have probably just been knocked out this game. Okay. Most of our camos have probably been knocked out this game. Yo, can we spawn? Can I spawn? Bring that traitor in for interrogation. No. Oh, we got best play. That's how you move around the map in hardcore. Anyways, now that it's 2021, I'm really excited to see what they do with the new Call of Duty that they're planning on making. Hopefully, it's going to be something that is more in tune with the community. Hopefully, they don't decide to make like another Modern Warfare where camping is encouraged and the game just doesn't play like Call of Duty anymore. I understand that it was the, the highest grossing Call of Duty or whatever, like the most sold game. The community isn't wanting that if that makes any sense a small percentage of the community actually liked modern warfare the reason that that game got bought so much was because of warzone warzone took that game from the ground and threw it into the sky here's what i want for the next call of duty i want good 6v6 maps better integration with warzone lowered sbmm if possible no sbmm and a better progression system please 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 bring back prestiging please the prestige system in this game is kind of nice i'm not gonna lie but we would really really appreciate a regular prestige system actually a prestige system which you are rewarded maybe with calling cards right or you know like special animated stuff or even camos Prestiging camos would be amazing because then it gives a reason to keep playing the game and keep leveling up after you've finished all your weapons. For me personally, I don't play this game unless I'm doing something with it. 
unless I'm doing the camo challenges or unless I'm doing season challenges or calling card challenges. That's probably the only thing that I'm going to be doing. I don't know if it's going to be like Advanced Warfare 2 or something or if it's going to be World War 3. Who knows what it's going to be. But please, 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 please listen to your community and the game will be doing fine. That's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, keep on gaming on.